What's going on, everybody? Mike Strauss back with another interview. This time, got to catch up with my man Jordan Young. He's a Bellator undefeated light heavyweight. Super cool dude. Before we get to that chat, you guys know you can find my work at bjpen.com, locate Cageside Press, the YouTube channel, Mike Mike MMA on all the social media networks. Back to my conversation with my man Jordan Young. Enjoy. I want to welcome uh, Jordan Young back to the show. It's been a minute, man. Yeah. I'm happy to be back on here. I appreciate you reaching out to me, my guy. Dude, anytime. You already know, man. So, uh, you know, I saw you on, uh, you're always on social media first off, man. You're, you're one of my favorite followers. But I guess right off the bat, I wanted to ask you, look, you changed your name from Out the Mud J now. You're, no, you're not in the mud no more, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm Out the Mud for sure. But uh, it was just a little too long of a name. Honestly, I've been trying to link like the same, uh, the same IG name with the same Twitter name. But I'm verified on Instagram and not on Twitter. And, uh, I don't know. Instagram's been giving me a problem with switching my name up. It says contact them, and then I contact them, and nobody reaches out. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, to get a hold of those people, man, it, it's a. It seems like I've never had to do it directly, but I've I've seen a lot of people that have had just you know it's a nightmare trying to reach someone physically. So yeah, man, that that's crazy. But yeah, I did. I wanted to mention that because I noticed it. And uh, you're one of the guys I do follow very closely on social media. I saw you reached out to, to Luke Thomas, wanted to, you wanted to know if he knew who you were. And I'm thinking, he's got to know who the fuck you are. I mean, he, he just, it's his job to know dudes. And you're one of the, you've got to be one of the top 15 guys in Bellator's light heavyweight division, right? I mean, he's got to know who you are. Yeah, honestly, let's be real here. Does Bellator even have 15 light heavyweights? You're right, you know right. Saying? Yeah, if that. So top 10, maybe? Yeah, but, but, Say like I, in my opinion, I think I'm I'm uh I'm top ten for sure. But I, I had reached out to Luke because I was watching. Uh, first of all, I was at the UFC fight in Atlanta. Hell of a card. It was of a really card. good. In my man. opinion, uh, that that co-main event was the best fight in, in MMA history. In my opinion, but um, I was watching his breakdown, and uh, he was doing a brilliant breakdown. I was really enjoying it. So then I like became not that I I wasn't I was aware of who he was before, but I started like coming a fan if you will you know what i mean i admired his work this day so now i start paying attention and followed him and uh you know honestly it's, it's a little bit of frustration on my part you know what i'm saying like i i always get love from a lot of good people like you you've always given me interviews throughout my career ever since you you discovered me and there's been uh some other people that have been loyal to me as well but like on the on the on the um larger scale like i don't know i just i don't feel i get the promotional push so i even wonder if people like that know who i am and it's crazy because I think Dominic Cruz, you know, he's uh, not Dominic Cruz and tripping. Dominic Reyes is uh, what eleven and zero. Yeah. And um, outside, there's like me, him, and I believe there's uh, only a couple other. There's not that many like heavyweights that have undefeated records in the double digits. You know what I mean? So, no, yeah, um, I can't think of many besides you and Reyes. I can't really think of uh, at the top of my head. You know, that's it. <laughs> Exactly, and so why why wouldn't why would there not be any type? You know what I mean? But oh well, I don't like to complain. I just noticed things like this, so that's why I reached out to him that day. You know, I feel you, man. I, and I, you know what? I, there's a, a I like Luke Thomas too. I think he's really good at what he does, man. His breakdowns are really good, and that that doesn't surprise me that that you like his breakdowns because you know at the heart of it, you have some killer BJJ. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. Your last four wins have came by sub, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, you 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 know you're slick. You know, you know what you're doing down there. Yeah, I appreciate that. Say, uh, I definitely um, started grappling at a young age in the gi and uh, stayed loyal to real jujitsu and uh, the martial art aspect of it. And then I started adding in more offensive wrestling, defensive wrestling, more of the MMA grappling style. But uh, I appreciate the comments on my grappling. I, I can't wait to show off the stand up because at the same time I started with the gi. I started um, exploring uh, striking as well. And, uh, you know, the only thing I think that I, I don't have is uh, the stand-up finishes to, to really, like, people don't pay attention until you're dropping people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Yeah, no, the, you make a you make a very good point there about that. That's uh, People tend to to not start. No, yeah, you could rack up a, a bunch of wins via sub, and unless it's like a rare top-mounted triangle, people aren't really you know paying attention to the submission as much as the knockout. That's a very valid point, man. Besides your last four wins being by sub, you're obviously, we mentioned your 10-0, man. Your last win, I think, was at uh, Bellator 210, right? We're going on, uh, it'll this weekend will be Bellator 220, so it's been a little bit. 
you went up and yeah. you you, you ten Bellators, wow. right? But you you went up in weight, man. Your last couple fights. How much has that made a difference in just your overall, just everything, your overall overall game? Yeah. So honestly, for me, I've been healthy this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I haven't fought since November. I, I was I've been trying to get in there and uh, going up to light heavyweight for me. It's kept me fresher and ready to get in there. Like the weight cut is less takes less off my body and i'm just i'm rejuvenated I'm, I'm fresh i feel stronger my body got bigger but leaner at the same time and uh all the right things started happening when i went up a weight class you know what i mean I, my young at the time i was 23 my young 23 year old body started eating all the extra calories all the extra protein and uh i just had good results from it honestly i've always been a guy with great endurance and great long distance capacity but now I have uh, I have that explosion behind me as well. Yeah, no, that's awesome, man. I think, uh, you know, we're seeing this so much now, right? Guys kind of going up one weight class and having a lot of success. And, uh, yeah, you're, you're a big example of that, man. I think that uh, I think the best is yet to come, which is scary because, as we mentioned already, you know, you're undefeated. So that's a cool thought, though, man, to think that you're just scratching the surface. You're still a young dude, right, 24 years old, I mean. But I feel like I know you enough to say you're, you're a humble guy to where you love to learn. So that's scary to think that you can get that much better, you know? Yeah, all day, and especially out where I'm at. I'm not American top team, uh, you know, headquarters right here in South Florida, and it's just a wealth of knowledge coming through from all ages, all disciplines, all, all walks of life, all nationalities. So, you know, um, I've always been a humble person, always willing to learn from anybody just through jiu-jitsu and martial arts. But, you know, being in this place, um, there's just, you know, if you're not picking up something on the match, you're picking up something about somebody's way of life or the way they do things uh, from where they're from. And it just overall makes you uh, a more well-traveled and better person, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely, man. You, originally, you're from Iowa, right? Yeah, say, like, I'm from Des Moines, Iowa, but I like to say I'm from everywhere because, you know, as soon as I hit, like, 15, 16, I started moving around, you know what I mean? Spend three, four months in Las Vegas or six months in California, different places. So, uh, you know, I feel like I'm just so much more well-traveled than uh, a lot of people in Iowa. But that's no diss to them, you know? I'm from the capital of Des Moines, and... uh you know, we got Jeremy Stevens, obviously. He's a big name from there. And, of mm -hmm. course, the OG Josh Neer, who's retired now. But outside of them, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm the new the new wave, the new, I'm I'm uh, the face of Des Moines MMA, in my opinion. No, no doubt, man. You, you mentioned uh, uh, you mentioned a lot there, but one thing that I got out of it was uh, you have, uh, it seems like you have an incredible balance, too, in your life, right? Because I follow you, as I said, on social media, and I see that, uh, it looks. I think on the 19th, you got out to Adam Hunter's comedy show. You, you're always flossing on Instagram in front of all these whips, man. So, I mean, it, it seems like you have a good balance of professional and per personal life, right? Yeah, no, that's for, that's for fact. I work hard uh, six days out of the week in the gym. I put in the work. I get better. And, uh, you know, I'm in South Florida. I enjoy myself and uh, the luxuries that come with the, the hard work you put in this sport. And I haven't even scratched the surface yet. There's still a lot of people who don't know who I am. And uh, I'm not, like, on their radar yet, and that's fine, you know, because timing is everything. My plan is to uh, be 12-0 and at the end of the year when I turn 25 years old. 12-0 and at 25. Who, who can tell me that, you know, my future is not bright and I don't have it all in front of me? Um, as far as, like, the wits and whatnot, if anybody's ever in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, you know, Miami area, on Exotics 305, that's where you, you got to go. Um, honestly, you know, I, I like to do my thing, and uh, I'm always pulling it up in something different. They take care of me. So, yeah, it's a beautiful life. No, it definitely is, man. It looks like you're living uh, you're living it to the fullest, man. I can't can't fault that. How many fights do you have left on, uh, on your contract? <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it's a it's a it's a number that uh, I don't want to say, but okay, you know, there's not left. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna finish this, this contract out, and we're gonna see what the the future holds for me. For In sure. either direction, I'm not uh, set on anything. Meaning that you you explore your I still options. Still have to handle my business in front of me too. You know what I'm saying? I still have uh, the work in front of me, but I'm. Uh, I'm more than confident that when the end of the year comes, I'll be in great position. 
I definitely think you will, man. I mean, uh, you know, belt to put together like an up and comer guys to watch. You're you're right on that list, man. You got to be top three of them to watch. So, yeah, I can't wait to see what's next for you, man. Uh, are you going to be up here for the Chicago show next month? Honestly, I was trying to fight on that Chicago show. That's bittersweet for me that you asked. I would love to have been on that card and uh, put on in front of the All State Arena, man. And in front of all the fans. But uh, but unfortunately, and 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 honestly, all my Midwest fans, you know, Iowa, Kansas. Um, Omaha, all the places I've fought, they would have loved to make the trip too, but nah, I'm not going to be there. Um, you know, it's uh, UFC Fort Lauderdale this weekend. I'm going to check that out, and then uh, next weekend I'll definitely be watching uh, be watching the Bellator fights. I'm excited for AJ McKee's fight. Yeah, AJ is another one of those dudes, man. Uh, are you uh, friends with AJ personally? Uh, I wouldn't say friend like personally, but uh, you know that's the homie. Like. When I see him, we say what up, of course. And uh, I was around him. We fought on the same card in uh, Connecticut at the Mohegan Sun. And also, I think my first fight in Bellator and and uh, what you call Kansas. But anyhow, we we cut weight together. Me, my little brother, him, and his father in, in the uh, in the spa sauna at the Mohegan Sun. He's a good dude, honestly. And like when I look at like the other young up and comers, I hold I'd say in Bellator the most respect for for AJ. He's the real deal. Yeah, yeah, I agree, man. A- AJ, uh, his dad, th- all those dudes, man. Class act, the, the team, team body shot, man. I really love what uh, AJ McKee. I-, I love what he's been able to do. His father's been able to do there, you know. Yeah, shout out Antonio McKee. He's a he's a great man as well. Um, you know, I've had some conversations with him just from seeing him corner at different cards. Maybe I was cornering out or I was fighting on, and uh, he's always spitting some good positive knowledge. Um, just a, a, a motivating guy. Yeah, I think it's criminal, man, that people don't mention him as, you know, people shouldn't mention him as one of the very top guys in the game. And for whatever reason, he doesn't get his respect. He's another guy that I've had on the show multiple times. And, and I don't understand why people don't give that man the respect he deserves because he's one of the OGs, man. You know, he, he is an OG. He was out there doing this shit 25 years ago, smashing fools. And he's, he looks as good today as he did then, man. Yeah, say, uh, you know, if he listens to this, uh, like I said, respect to Antonio McKee. Honestly, my opinion on, on that is that his time is coming, and why I say that is because he has been here a really long time, but his work is coming to fruition right now in front of our eyes with his son and uh, some of his other successful fighters, so just give it a little more time, you know what I mean? You can't deny uh, you can't deny the W's. Yeah, for sure. Well, man, uh, thanks for the time, man. I know that you're busy. Thanks for sneaking me in here. Uh, take a few minutes here. Shout out your teammates, coaches, sponsors, whatever you'd like, man. Floor is yours, Jay. Yeah, I appreciate you. First of all, I'll shout you out. Uh, you know, I appreciate you having me on the show. And uh, second of all, I want to shout out my team, American Top Team. You know, the best team in MMA. If you look at what we're doing, it's just absolutely amazing. Belts, you know, uh, co-main events, main events on every card, on every show, all across the world. And uh, a big summer coming up for us as well. And also, shout out to my friends and family who uh, always hold me down and make sure I'm good, as well as my management, Janice Sports. And then uh, last but not least, my uh, beautiful sponsors, Aaron Pouncey, um, also 8-Man Strong, Joe Brammer with the Lead Edge Gems. And uh, anybody who's listening to this, check me out on Instagram at J-A-Y-185 and on Twitter at J-A-Y Pressure 205. Yeah, like I said, I appreciate you having me on the show, and I'm looking forward to being on here again. Hopefully you guys will be seeing me in the cage this early July is what I'm uh, understanding. Well, you already know, man. Anytime, just uh, hit me up. We'll, we'll do this, and uh, definitely let me know when you get uh, your next fight, man. We'll definitely we'll, we'll do this again anytime, man. Yeah, that's a fact. We'll be talking soon, brother.